What's going on, y'all? It's your boy. We back with a new boot. We got, we went to Red Wing today. Red Wing shoes and we got a new boot. Got tired of getting water in my boots out in the creek. So this is what we got right here. They said they stopped making this boot. So uh, I got lucky and I got pretty much one of the last sets or one of the last pairs. We're gonna open it up and show you what's inside and what the boot looks like. So it's an Irish setter and it's a waterproof boot. I'm gonna be using it in the creek. And I just wanted to give you a quick look at it. It's the, uh, I guess the 400, I don't know. I don't know anything about this boot. This is my first time ever buying a water boot from Red Wing. Normally I go to Cabela's. But uh, after buying my last boot from Red Wing, I fell in love with the quality of their boots. So I wanted to try it out. Now I'm gonna show you why I had to get a new pair of boots and why I chose this boot. And it's gonna be for good reason. I'll show you, give me one second. So this is the boot that I got from Cabela's. This is the second water boot that I've owned and I like it. It's See, it's from Cabela's. It was a very good boot, but this is the problem that I ran into with this boot. And this is why when walking in the creek, I would get so much water in my boot. It's like right in the middle, just from where it creases. Basically because of this boot being so wide at the top, whenever I put my pants inside the boot, it would bunch the boot up. And when I walked, you see how it would basically just bunch and it cracked right, excuse me, it cracked right in the front. So this is one of the things that I did not like about this boot and I never tightened it. And it even actually wore a mark in my, my leg where it rubbed a little bit, but it's okay. It was a good boot, really good. I did like this heel thing on the back of it. Basically, I'm saying this boot is gonna be an upgrade to this boot. And what I like about the front of this boot, this material doesn't seem like it's gonna be a material that's gonna crack in the front. I don't know how to explain the difference between them, but I didn't, I mean, you wouldn't have expected this one to crack either, but it did. But anyway, uh, this is the upgraded boot. We will be walking in the creek and these starting tomorrow. And this is the old boot. I'm not saying this was a bad boot. It lasted me a little longer than six months walking in the creek every single day. Uh, the it, it did have better traction and look the the traction on the bottom is still very good on it it's i mean it's still in perfect condition and it flexes really good out in the creek so it's not a bad boot it just can't be worn in uh, deep water anymore so that just means that this boot has to go away from me because i like to be able to walk in the creek a little bit deeper so that brings me back to this boot the things that i like about this boot uh it has that same hook heel mark on the back of it i don't know if you can see that but it has that on the back uh this boot feels like it fits like a glove we're gonna see how it walks in the creek you can see the tread pattern on the bottom of it it's really nice i like it uh so we will be walking with a new tread pattern out in the snow tomorrow but this boot let's look at it side by side for height wise they're about the same when it comes to height maybe the Irish Setter is a little bit taller. I don't know if you can see that. They're heel to heel, like that should be straight. And you pull them down. The Irish Setter is a little bit taller. Like I said, what I like about this is there is no uh, buckling. So you won't hear that when I'm walking out in the creek, which I like that too, because that means I'm gonna be even quieter when I'm out walking. Um, it has a nice little shin guard protection up here, it feels like. Uh, it's. It feels like it's gonna be waterproof all the way up. Really nice boot. It feels, like I said, it feels like a glove. It fit like a glove. They stopped making this one, but um, they said they stopped, they can't get them in anymore. So I kind of got lucky and uh, walked in at the right time. I got them for a decent price as well. Uh, I used my military discount. So it got me, I don't remember how much off, uh, but once again, I don't want to talk price. Uh, they were basically twice as expensive as this boot. So if that's any, uh, indicator. I'm saying I got six months at a minimum out of this boot. I think I got longer than six months out of it. Uh, we're going to see how long we get out of this one and we're doing everyday use. So uh, stay tuned if you want to know more, but this is the uh, Irish Setter uh, 400. I don't know if it has any other name on it. It's the 
hunt, mud trek. So I'll be tagging what it is in the video. Anyway, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to let everybody know we will be walking in a new boot tomorrow after planting all the snow and ice out in the creek and keep getting my feet wet because of this hole, which water it started going in there very, very quickly. If you can't tell, that hole has ruined the waterproof characteristics. Matter of fact, you can see my finger through it. So we got our use out of this and hopefully we get twice as long out of this because it costs twice as much. I think we're going to get way more than twice as long out of this. I see me walking a whole year in this one easily. Easily. I see this one lasting much longer just from the way that it feels on the inside. And another thing, since it fits like a glove, this boot has started making my socks run down in it. This one is going to be off to a good start. I feel like this one, the way that it feels on the inside, you don't even need socks. <laughs> hey, let's look on the inside. Matter of fact, I don't know if you can see. Ah, I don't know if you can see down in there. You can't. I wish I had a flashlight. But the same material on the inside that's on the outside and i'll be doing a walk in them and let y'all know what i think anyway we'll keep this video short i'm gonna get this one posted today because i'm about to start doing it that way anyway much respect much 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 respect much love to everybody who be supporting me thank you again this is the new boot we'll be walking in and starting tomorrow hey take care this your boy and i'm out